Job 12 verse 12, Wisdom is with the aged, and understanding in length of days. This verse acknowledges the connection between age and wisdom, suggesting that a longer life provides opportunities for gaining valuable insights and understanding. Proverbs 16 verse 31, Gray hair is a crown of glory, it is gained in a righteous life. The imagery of gray hair as a crown of glory symbolizes the honor and wisdom that can come from a life lived in accordance with righteousness. Psalm 71 verse 9, Do not cast me off in the time of old age, forsake me not when my strength is spent. The psalmist expresses a plea for God's continued presence and care in old age, recognizing the potential vulnerability that comes with diminishing physical strength. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 1, Remember also your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come and the years draw near of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. This verse encourages a relationship with God from a young age, emphasizing the importance of spiritual foundation before the challenges and difficulties of old age arise. Isaiah 46 verse 4, Even to your old age I am he, and to gray hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear, I will carry and will save. God's promise to carry and save extends into old age, offering reassurance and comfort to those facing the challenges that come with advancing years. Titus 2 verses 2 to 3, Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. This passage outlines the qualities expected of older individuals within the Christian community, highlighting the role of mentorship and example setting for younger generations. Psalm 90 verse 10, The years of our life are seventy, or even by reason of strength eighty, yet their span is but toil and trouble, they are soon gone and we fly away. This verse reflects on the brevity of human life, emphasizing the challenges and fleeting nature of the years, encouraging reflection on the use of time. Proverbs 20 verse 29, The glory of young men is their strength, but the splendor of old men is their gray hair. This proverb contrasts the strength of youth with the honor associated with the gray hair of old age, reinforcing the idea that aging is accompanied by a unique kind of splendor. Psalm 92 verses 12 to 14, The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord, they flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age, they are ever full of sap and green. The imagery of flourishing like a palm tree and remaining fruitful in old age suggests that a righteous life continues to thrive and contribute to the well-being of others. Luke 2 verses 25 to 32, Now there was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. Simeon's righteous and devout life is highlighted as he patiently awaits the fulfillment of God's promises demonstrating the enduring faith and commitment that can characterize old age. Job 32 verses 7 to 9, I said, Let days speak, and many years teach wisdom. But it is the spirit in man, the breath of the Almighty, that makes him understand. It is not the old who are wise, nor the aged who understand what is right. This passage introduces a perspective that challenges the assumption that age alone guarantees wisdom, asserting that true understanding comes from the spirit and breath of the Almighty. Psalm 71 verse 18, So even to old age and gray hairs, O God, do not forsake me, until I proclaim your might to another generation, your power to all those to come. The psalmist expresses a desire to continue proclaiming God's might to future generations, highlighting the ongoing role and influence of the elderly in sharing their faith. 1 Timothy 5 verses 1 to 2, Do not rebuke an older man but encourage him as you would a father, younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, younger women as sisters, in all purity. This verse emphasizes the importance of showing respect and encouragement to older individuals within the Christian community, recognizing the valuable roles they play as spiritual guides and mentors. 
Psalm 71 verse 15, My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all the day, for their number is past my knowledge. The psalmist expresses a commitment to continually testify to God's righteous acts and deeds of salvation, reflecting a sense of awe and gratitude that deepens with age. Proverbs 23 verse 22, Listen to your father who gave you life, and do not despise your mother when she is old. This proverb encourages honoring and listening to parents, particularly in their old age, recognizing the value of their life experience and wisdom. Job 5 verse 26, You shall come to your grave in ripe old age, like a sheaf gathered up in its season. The imagery of coming to the grave in ripe old age is positive, suggesting a full and fruitful life that has reached its natural conclusion. Psalm 71 verse 19, Your righteousness, O God, reaches the high heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you, the psalmist acknowledges the greatness of God's righteousness, expressing awe and wonder at his incomparable nature, regardless of one's age. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 2, For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. This well-known passage from Ecclesiastes speaks to the inevitability of various seasons in life, including the different stages of aging, each with its own significance. Genesis 25 verse 8, Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. The description of Abraham's death as occurring in a good old age emphasizes the idea that a life lived in alignment with God's purposes is fulfilling and complete. Psalm 71 verse 23, my lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, my soul also, which you have redeemed. The psalmist expresses the joy and praise that will continue even in old age, highlighting the enduring spiritual vitality and gratitude for God's redemption. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13, The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. The conclusion of Ecclesiastes emphasizes the timeless importance of fearing God and keeping His commandments as the fundamental duty of humanity, regardless of age. Psalm 92 verse 15, To declare that the Lord is upright, He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in Him. The declaration of the Lord's uprightness as a rock without unrighteousness reinforces the steadfast and unchanging nature of God, a truth that remains consistent throughout the years. Leviticus 19 verse 32, You shall stand up before the gray head and honor the face of an old man, and you shall fear your God, I am the Lord. This command emphasizes the cultural value of showing respect to the elderly, reinforcing the connection between honoring elders and revering God. Psalm 71 verse 20, You who have made me see many troubles and calamities will revive me again, from the depths of the earth you will bring me up again. The psalmist acknowledges God's sustaining power through life's difficulties and expresses confidence in divine revival, even in the face of challenges associated with old age. Philippians 1 verse 21, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. The Apostle Paul's famous declaration reflects a perspective on life and death that transcends age, emphasizing the ultimate purpose of living for Christ and the gain that comes through death for believers.